Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about setting margins to your box. Uh, in the CSS box model, this is the third layer wrapping the content box. Uh, setting margins to your box allows you to set the space away from your original position. Uh, like padding, this is used to control the position of your content. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. I have uh, the HTML. Let's view it in uh, Firefox first. Uh, this time I did it a little bit differently, so uh, just be careful. I have two divs, okay? One is the big div with a border of two pixel, okay? And a small div that's inside the big div, and it's 100% um, width right now, so you see uh, the border here uh, is thicker than this part because it's uh, the border of this plus the border of the inner div. Okay, I'm going to launch Firefox uh, Firebug now, F12, and then I'm going to inspect. This will be the outer layer, and this will be the inner div. Okay, let's inspect the inner div right now. Go to layout, so you'll see that uh, the content is this wide and this tall and the padding is zero and I have border of two all around each side okay and what we're going to be talking about is this layer which is the margin layer okay and as you can see uh, this offsets your box including the border okay by uh, the number of pixels or percentage that you assign to okay whereas padding is within the border so your text actually gets pushed away from the borders and margin actually pushed the whole box including the visual uh, border away from uh, the other contents okay so let's close firebug and let's start looking at the code okay so what we have here, uh, the HTML is a little bit different. Uh, I have an outer div with the inline style that sets the box to a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. And then I have the inner div that doesn't have anything yet right now and inside a text of gibberish. Okay. And uh, same here with all the divs. I assigned the border to have a solid black two pixel border. Okay, and so let's see here. For the individual size class that I have set up here, I set the width of the uh, container that wherever this is assigned to to be 100 pixel. Okay, and margin, if you want to set individual sides, you can do margin dash side which is top here and colon then the value okay for example margin top is 30 pixels okay you can also do percentage 2 a margin right is 3 pixels margin bottom is 7 pixels margin left is 25 pixels okay and let's just assign it here save it minimize it and let's take a look at it in our browser. Let me refresh. Look at the size of the div. It's gonna uh, be set to 100 pixels now. Okay. And also, you can see that it was pushed away from the top and the left. You don't see you don't see it from uh, that much from the right and that much from the bottom. Okay. Uh, because uh, in your browser the default is uh, setting your div to align left and top so uh, it's more obvious to see that it's being pushed from the top and pushed from the left okay and let's minimize it bring back top style so this is what you do to set individual sides you can also set uh, every side to be the same okay 
for example, all sides class that I set up here, you can see that there's margin, okay, without anything else, just margin, colon, right? And then if you just assign one value, then it, it applies it to all four sides, okay? You can also uh, do it by spacing and then do four values, okay? Then these four values would uh, correspond to all four sides, starting from the top, right, bottom, left. Oops, six pixels to the left, okay? Or else you can do two values, which means the 10 pixels will be applied to the top and bottom, and 8 pixels would be applied to the left and right. Okay, and let's just make it more obvious. Let's say we want uh, 10 pixels from the top. Uh, let's say 5 pixels from the right, 5 pixels from the bottom, and then 0 pixels from the left. Okay, save it, minimize it. Bring back Firefox, refresh. Oops, I forgot to assign all sides. Refresh. So that's what we assigned. Okay, and that's it for uh, this screencast. Thank you.